a strategic planning not only means creating a different outcome in the future, but it really means changing behaviors. Welcome to another $4 million strategies. Today, we're here with Norman Wolf. He is the author of The Living Organization. Today, he's going to tell us the best practices on strategic execution. Once again, I encourage you, this is the best four minutes of business, down this on YouTube, so make sure it can be part of your habits every single day and subscribe to us. Norman, tell us the best ways on how to do strategic execution. A couple of things that come to my mind, or one, you have to have a good plan to start with, right? Because you need a baseline of how you're doing. I, I think the biggest challenge, two biggest challenges is one, that we get sidetracked in the busyness of today and the urgency of what we've always been doing and lose track of the important things, those things we want to be doing. Um, the second part of that, I think, is recognizing that strategic planning not only means creating a different outcome in the future, but it really means changing behaviors, right? The old saying is the behaviors, I'm the outcomes I'm getting is because of the behaviors I'm doing. And if I want a new outcomes, I got to have different behaviors. Uh, so I think you also have to <clears throat> take into account as you're managing the execution, are we behaving differently? And a lot of people don't actually think about what behaviors we want to have different that will get us the new outcomes. I, I think the other part of it is we need to look at execution a little bit differently. You know, there's a, the typical way we look at it is we set the goals and we want people to create the outcomes, the goals that we set. And we measure them about creating the goals. If you step back and think about it, if you already had the skill set, the capability and the maturity to do the new goals, you'd already be doing them. So inherently in strategy is a learning curve process. So one of the ways we look at it and teach our CEOs to think about it is don't look at using the people to get the results. Look at the results you want to get as the catalyst to facilitate the development of the people to improve their skills to produce the results. So we add that extra element into it. And without that, you're just, you're fighting human behavior. You know, everybody says people resist change. Well, they really don't. It's just that change is a, is a process of development. It's not a do this today and do that tomorrow. Nobody, nobody I've known ever says, oh, I want to be different. So boom, I'm now different. There's a whole dynamic associated with that. Uh, we call that reframing context, uh, the, the underlying instructions that drive the behaviors. Um, but yeah, I think when it comes to execution, we don't pay enough attention to those elements that people are people and they're not just components of a machine that you can just reprogram. Yeah, I think you said it well there is, is um, really does come down to changing habits. And, and, and there's another piece that you alluded to there is when you can get the people doing it, meaning typically it's your management team or if you're a small organization, maybe yourself, you're directly doing this, these efforts, but you have to recognize that it is something different than you were doing before, right? It's hard. That's the hard part. And and also when you can get your team a part of creating it, they're going to more likely buy in. If you just tell them to change, they're not going to change. But if you tell them, hey, tell us how we should get this, get them a part of the process, they're much more likely to buy in and get it done for you. Yeah, absolutely. And, and one thing I'll just say on top of that uh, real quick is we believe that the best way to get people to buy in is to have them choose to want to buy in. So the whole notion of they're at a place of choice, you're not trying to manipulate them, control them, incentivize them, bribe them, manipulate them, threaten them into behaviors. You want to get to the place where they want to do what the organization needs to be done. No more powerful way than that. Yeah, well said, Norman. Thank you so much for being on $4 million strategies. You're very welcome.